now we have a test pressing four. Some something that says jazz on it. Come on, I would expect you to have all those numbers memorized by now, or you could look at the catalog number and know what it was. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> look, I, I, I just recognize the name Kevin Gray. Sure. And QRP, and I know that he does a good job. He does. And it's nice because for his SACD stuff, he it's, it's basically him mastering it as he's mastering the record, too, because... DSD, there's very little post production. That's right, can't do much. Okay, why don't we let's p take the Led Zeppelin off? All right. Well, Could very you... gently now. Well, so, wait. wait. Uh, uh. All right, so we played we played uh, the RL Whole Lot of Love, and, and how did that sound to you? It sounded great, obviously. <laughs> it, it sounds like Led Zeppelin 2 should sound like, of course, on the system, you hear details that you don't really hear like you can hear how isolated the guitar fills in the middle of the song are you can hear some latin percussion coming in on the right you can hear when robert plant's just singing there's like nothing else except for reverb you can hear his singing coming back like just scattered across the room and it sounds just like led zeppelin 2 should and it's not like the new remasters that were digitally sourced and you know, obviously this was made when the table was fresh. That's right. And obviously the people who made this go out of print aren't smart enough to have good equipment. So, because they, everyone thought it was a defective record. Well, Atlantic Records pulled it back. Atlantic yeah. Records themselves, because it wouldn't play on, on the kitty phonographs. You know, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now Lame. you're going to very gently lift that up. And there you go. And there you go. Okay.